my my main job is I'm the Oakland A's team reporter and one of their broadcasters. Whoa. And we had Trevor May land on the IL last year for anxiety. And it was definitely something that I hadn't really covered throughout my five or six years in the industry. And Mark Kotze, my manager who played, you know, 90s, 2000s, it was unheard of for him too. So Garrett, what's it like hearing that professional sports are embracing mental health and there's not a stigma and you can like walk in the manager's office and talk to him about it? Yeah, I mean, I um, I wish more guys would take advantage of it from a pre proactive, preventative point of view. Um, every single person who experiences high level athletics is going to need some degree of counseling, some degree of therapy, some degree of something, you know. And so, you know, if and and then furthermore, I think also this statistic probably exists somewhere. Um, most people who experience success at that level have something, something off. Like you yeah. don't, like you don't pursue excellence in one thing with that degree of repetition, that commitment for that many years, unless there's like a little bit of something that maybe is like out of balance. And so it's this double-edged sword of the thing that is a challenge is also the thing that makes you great, right? It's like these dual kind of truths, you know? And so I, I love it. I think it's amazing. You know, I wish more guys would open up. I wish more guys would go back to things and uncover and work through. You know, I think the sooner people figure out how to deal with where they come from and what they're struggling with and where they want to go, which is a just a, like a life coaching conversation, the sooner they are, we will see our teams become more successful, the sooner we will see guys have healthier lives after their careers are over. You know, I think it's something that we need to continue to hit home now because the way in which we're probably, and this is again, this is not a necessarily an invitation, Jessica, for more conversation right now, but maybe later. You know, but the way he's like, you don't have to talk more, but I'm going to talk more. I'm right there with you. I'm the I said it. All of the, uh, you know, all of the ways in which we're paying college athletes now is just bringing closer into adolescent development. Um, you know, adolescent development, the, the issues that really are, should be reserved for people who are fully mature, have fully mature brains, you know? So I think that it's an, it's something we need to continue to encourage because we need it, you know? And so whether you're an athlete or you're a, just a civilian, I personally believe that we always need mentors. We always need counselors. We always need therapists. We always need people who can help us in the journey of our lives. And so, yeah, I mean, I think we need to embrace it. I think we need to encourage it. And I think the sooner we all wake up to like, Hey, we, all kind of need some help walking this thing off, you know, called life out, you know, the better. Yeah.